Hi friends, we've already talked about some of the primary factors to consider when choosing your first whistle. I'll link that at the top. We've also talked about the factors you should think about when purchasing an additional whistle. I'll link that video at the top. But in our time together today, it's time for us to talk about answering the question, when do I upgrade my whistle? There are a couple of points I really need to make from the start as, as we get going. They're crucial to the conversation. You need to bear in mind my commitment that you should purchase a whistle that you can grow into. Don't purchase one where you're going to have to upgrade every time you get a little better. You're, you're just throwing money away, actually. Um, spend a little bit more and buy a better whistle from the start. But you still have to answer the question, when should I upgrade? And I intimated a minute ago that there's the temptation to upgrade in search of that perfect whistle. Well, great whistles are available, but the perfect whistle is as elusive as a unicorn. These are instruments we're playing, and every instrument um, is a series of compromises, not just whistles, every instrument. If the instrument is made to do one thing well, it's something else that doesn't do well. Even professionals buy professional instruments. Um, one is clearer or louder, and another is more mellow, and they have different instruments to do different things. The instrument may be great, as I said, but what if it doesn't provide the tone quality you're after? then you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that whistle. Oh, or the second octave may play beautifully at the cost of the lower octave playing well. You might have purchased a whistle that's very breathy in tone, and it turns out you wanted one that was clear in tone. So uh, don't chase whistles, upgrade when you're doing so in response to uh, a specific need or situation or desire. Um, so, the conversation of when do I upgrade my whistle marries very closely with the conversation of what criteria do I consider when purchasing my first whistle. Um, or buying an additional whistle because those same criteria are the ones that um, you may be searching for an improvement in. So here you go. When should you upgrade your whistle? First, if you purchased a beginner whistle to decide if you were going to enjoy playing, the moment you fall in love with playing that low D whistle, that is an indicator it's time to upgrade to a better whistle. A starter whistle is just that, a starter whistle. Interestingly, there are many folks who love their starter whistle and don't want another one. That's, that's perfectly fine. Um, that's great. If you love the instrument you're playing, there's no reason to upgrade. But if your current reason is, if your current instrument is deficient in some way, it's time to upgrade. So if you purchase the starter whistle, as soon as you decide you love playing the whistle, go ahead and get a better one. It's, it's that time. Interestingly, um, back to my point earlier about spending just a little bit more, especially in buying a low D whistle at the start, is starter whistles, starter high D whistles are, well, you could pick a great starter high D whistle up for $30 or under. As a matter of fact, if you, there are starter whistles that you could buy for $30 that are actually intermediate grade whistles on the high D. 
you can't find um, many uh, $30 low D whistles. I say many, I was wanting to say you can't find any <laughs> low D whistles for $30 that you're going to be willing to play, but I'm, I'm convinced you can't, especially if you're looking in the used market or if one of the PVC or um, um, composite whistles provides the tone quality you're after. For the most part, you're going to spend probably almost $100 for a starter low D whistle. Now, okay, back to the reasons. The second indicator that it's time to upgrade is that you realize you love to play, you have extra money in your budget, and you really feel like upgrading. Well, if you have extra money in your budget, you love playing, pull the trigger. Get, get a better whistle. But remember the criteria, and I'm going to hit on some of those. Uh, I spent more time on those in the first video of uh, what to consider. So, when I say get a better whistle, and I talk about the criteria, I mean you have to choose a better whistle based on the criteria that you're after. So, um, the third reason you may want to upgrade your whistle is that you were just able to play your friend's low D whistle, and it is so much nicer than yours. Um, it's time to consider upgrading. And if you can't afford it yet, start saving toward it. So, first reason you purchased a beginner and um, you love to play, it's time to upgrade. You have money in the budget and you didn't purchase a great whistle to start with, great by your criteria, upgrade. You played someone else's whistle and you're just stunned at how beautifully and well it plays and you want that whistle. Time to upgrade. The challenge here is that not all of us have friends with low D whistles. Um, I was in Pittsburgh last week and I have a friend who has a number of great low D whistles and he sent one of his down to a birthday party I was there attending. Uh, my wife and I, and he couldn't come, so he sent his MK Pro down for me to play with, and I really enjoyed it, um, and I had to give it back to him, uh, so uh, that's, the, that's great. Um, I think I would want that as another whistle in, in my arsenal, as it were, but, uh, and this is one of the reasons I create reviews. It's not always possible for us to run down to the corner shop and try out half a dozen different whistles that you might like. Um, you need to listen to reviews. You need to, to watch someone else play them. You need to watch three or four other people play them and listen to what they say about them. And listen especially to the tone qualities and the description of how well they play and loud and soft they are. I'm, the fourth indicator that it might be time to upgrade your whistle, and this is where it gets just a little fuzzy and very personal, is that you're getting frustrated with your current whistle because of some factor of its tone quality. These are things like your current whistles requires too much air. The current whistle doesn't play easily at the top of the second octave, or a couple of the bottom notes are, are a struggle and they squeak, or um, the whistle's too breathy, not breathy enough, the whistle's got that gravel in it, or it's not gravelly enough, um, the whistle's clear, or not clear enough, um, too clear, and you want to replace that. There are all those tone quality factors you might want to change your whistle. This is why you put in the homework up front when selecting your whistle. Um, there are even some beginner whistles that are gonna be a challenge to play quickly based on the, the way they're designed. So again, you've gotta look into all of that. 
I wish it were easier to go and put our hands on on different whistles and, and experiment with them. But it, uh, it's not unless you have friends with whistles or you can go to a session um, or you live near a store that sells really good whistles. So there may be characteristics of your current whistle that cause it to be unsatisfactory. And you know, for you, upgrade might mean buying a whistle that's of basic equal quality to the one you currently own. You might have spent a good bit of money on a whistle and then you realize you don't like the characteristics of it. I'd even call that an upgrade if you replaced it with the whistle that has the characteristics you want. Because if you're playing the whistle you want, you'll play better, you'll play more, you'll enjoy it a lot more, and, uh, and, and you'll be a better player as a result. Remember, um, oh wait, that was fifth, I need to add a fifth one. Again, also a little fuzzy. If you get the sense that your instrument is holding you back, I realize this is quite similar to the uh, tone quality factors, but if you're playing the whistle, and especially if you tried someone else's whistle and you realize, wow, I could never do this on my whistle, um, it's time to upgrade. So remember money is not your primary consideration. I just alluded to that. Remember I said, you might have purchased an expensive whistle and then you realize that this other whistle that maybe even cost a little bit less money is, is one you'd prefer. I've, I've tried a couple um, expensive whistles that I wasn't a huge fan of. Tone, quality, dominates. There's not a right and wrong with tone quality. There's what you're after. So upgrade because you're searching for characteristics in the instrument that your current instrument doesn't provide. It's really one to upgrade. But that all feels a little fuzzy, doesn't it? So when you think it's time to upgrade, drop a comment on one of my videos, we'll talk about it. Shoot me an email, um, we'll talk about it. Get our little community involved. Uh, join the, the Chiff and Fipple forum and look and see, I'll put their website in the notes. Look and see what they talk about. Now ask the question there. I'm looking for a whistle that has these characteristics. That's my sweet spot. Does this whistle fit that? What whistles fit that? Um, so, you know my hobby horse. Buy a good instrument from the start. Okay, so, I think I've given us five reasons here. You bought a beginner instrument, you realized you love it, time to get a better one. Um, you like your current instrument, but you have money in the budget to buy a better one, and you keep wishing you had a better one. You tried a friend's whistle, third, and it is so much nicer than yours. Um, fourth, there's some quality of the instrument, either tone quality or something else, that you're after that your current instrument doesn't provide, and you need a different one for that. Fifth, and this ties to the third one where you tried a friend's instrument, your current whistle's holding you back and you know you need to get something better. I remember when I was um, actually a teenager, uh, my music teacher said, you know, you've gone about as far as you can with the saxophone you own. It's time for you to go down to this store and have them introduce you to other instruments so that you can get a better one because you're not gonna learn to play better until you get a better instrument. Bear all that in mind. Uh, so I hope this helps. I, I, um, I'd love to hear your comments. Do you have any other ideas as to when would be good to upgrade your whistle? That You know, an indicator that says, hey, time to get a new whistle. Um, put them in the comments. Let's, let's have a great conversation about this because I know I haven't hit every reason. So I hope this helps. 
So we've talked about uh, factors to consider in buying your first whistle, when to get another whistle, and now when to upgrade your whistle. I hope these are helpful conversations to you, my friends. Until next time, this is Scott Shade. Happy low D whistling, my friends. <laughs>